This patient had a venous stasis ulcer on their lower left leg. The affected area must be cleaned and redressed. Here is the proper procedure. Venous stasis ulcers occur when valves in your veins malfunction. This causes pressure in the veins to increase and the vein walls to stretch. Blood leaches into skin tissue causing edema, excess interstitial fluid, and necrosis of the tissue due to the lack of oxygen and nutrients. This eventually leads to ulceration. In the video, the area is cleaned thoroughly with saline solution and dead skin is carefully removed where possible. Then, iodine paste and iodine gauze are applied to the open wound to prevent infection. After that, sterile gauze is applied to protect the affected area before the compression layers are applied. Finally, there are three bandage rolls used to wrap the wound. First, a cling, then two layers of compression. As they are wrapped, the doctor ensures that there is stiff compression to treat the underlying issue. It is important to note that an ankle brachial pressure index is conducted to ensure that there is sufficient blood pressure for an environment of healing. The patient will continue to have the wounds redressed in the future. Compression socks will also be used in future treatment to recover the function of the veins. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something.